Welcome back, everyone. Today, we are going to talk about transmuting in the Elder Scrolls Online. Well, you may or may not have heard of transmutation or reconstructing gear in ESO. It is by far one of my favorite quality of life improvements they have introduced over the years, and they have just continued to make the experience so much better. So this is the transmute station. You will find this in either Clockwork City in the Brass Fortress, or you may or may not find it in some of your guild halls. We have one here in the Fox and Guild Hall for all of our guildies to use right here on PCNA. So anytime you are looking to change the trait on your gear or potentially reconstruct uh, a prior gear set or a piece of gear you may have had, you can come right here to a transmit station. And you jump in, there are going to be a couple of options in here. So you can either transmit gear or you can reconstruct gear. So the transmute option allows you to take a piece of existing gear that you have and change the trait on it. So one caveat is that in order to trait your gear, with a particular tree, you had to have researched it prior. So that's why you're going to want to start your researching immediately. Definitely prioritize the traits that are most important. So when you transmute an item, your cost will always be 50 transmute crystals. So it does not matter how many of these items you have in your sticker book, it will always be 50. So you can select your item from your list here. Uh, you can filter by jewelry, apparel, and weapons. And once you select an item, you can then hit transmute. I will not do that here uh, just because I do not need to transmute this item, but you will see that when you do, you do not need the trait material. So that is one of the great things about transmuting and reconstructing gear is you do not need to have the trait material, especially for my friends that have uh, gear that they want to put triune on as an example, uh, or Nern. Uh, those are pricey materials to get. So having uh, the ability to transmute or reconstruct will save you from having to spend that money on that trait material. So your other option here is going to be to reconstruct gear. So here I have searched for um, an item set that I would like to recreate. So this here is where your sticker book is going to come in handy. For every item that you have previously bound to your account in that set, you are going to reduce the cost that it takes to, tr to reconstruct a piece of gear. So you'll see I only have three items missing for Spell Power Cure. So my cost to reconstruct an item is only 32 transmutes. You can go down to the minimum of 25 transmutes a piece, which is really awesome. Uh, if you are looking to transmute for 50 crystals, you can potentially reconstruct for 25. So when you are looking to change traits on a, on a piece of gear, make sure you weigh the options. It may be cheaper overall to reconstruct the item rather than just transmute it. So if I wanted to recreate this Spell Power Cure robe here, I'm going to click on it and I can, again, as previously mentioned, you have to know the trait and have it had, had it researched. So I'm going to select the trait I want on it and it will, being a dungeon item, will automatically be blue for quality. If I want to upgrade that, I can do so here and I can click and this will show me the cost of reconstructing this item. So again, you do not need to have the trait material, which again is great, uh, but you do have to have the upgrade materials if that is what you are interested in doing. So this will show here it's 32 transmutes, four elegant lining and eight draw wax. So for items that are only found in vet, such as monster helms, those will be a minimum of purple. You will not have to upgrade them to purple. So when you are coming in to reconstruct gear, it will reconstruct at the lowest quality it is available in. So if I go to Mother Sorrow, for example, which is an overland set, you can find this in green. The minimum it is going to come in is green. 
so you will have to upgrade it to levels. If you run vet dungeons, yes, you can get gear in purple, but because you can get the same gear on normal, blue is the quality, your dungeon gear will come in. Same thing for trial gear, but again, those monster helms are perfect because they are gonna automatically come in purple for you. So once you have an item that you would like to create, you can then hit reconstruct and it will create that gear for you. So just to show you guys really quick, this symbol here, reconstructed item, and then this symbol here is going to be a transmuted item. So it's an easy way for you to tell if you have previously uh, changed the trait or reconstructed it. Uh, if you are looking to see how many transmutes you have, you can go to your inventory and you go to your currency tab. You will see here the transmute crystals. So I am an ESO Plus member, so I can hold up to 1,000 transmute crystals. If you are not an ESO Plus subscriber, then you will be able to hold up to 500 transmute crystals. So you can get transmute crystals from doing a variety of tasks, uh, your normal random dungeons or your uh, vet random dungeons. You can get transmute crystals from going into PVP. A variety of ways to go ahead and get those transmute crystals in the game. Um, so that you can retrade and reconstruct your gear. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments. We are always looking to improve our videos so that they are best for everybody who may or may not be trying to learn something new in ESO. Make sure you like, subscribe, so you get notified of all of our guides that are hopefully going to be coming out in the near future. And we appreciate you coming in today and hanging out with us while we talk about the Transmute Station.